What's good, guys? Before we get started in today's video, I got four things to tell you guys. First, sorry for the two-week hiatus, all right? Actually, I'm not sorry, because I don't apologize for nothing. But I did take two weeks off to really focus and get my mind and my heart ready and my soul ready for the conquest I'm about to take on right now, all right? So the channel is going to change. It's going to change. No more just Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh content is going to be as amazing as ever. Even better, all right? Because from now on, all Yu-Gi-Oh content is going to be made with a purpose. Not just putting it out there for the sake of putting it out there, but for, with a purpose of teaching you guys how to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the direction the channel is going on. Every single YouTube video I make from now on about Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be to make you guys better at Yu-Gi-Oh. Next. Too many of you guys are fat. All right? Too many of you guys are skinny. Whatever it may be. Out of shape. Whatever you want to call it. All right? There's no filter on this YouTube. I don't care. Whatever it is, you guys need to hit the gym. So before every single video I make from now on, I'm going to be doing a short little vlog of my day, of my tr complete transparency of me lifting for like a minute, what I ate in the day like a minute, and even what I do to make money on the side like a minute, just to give you guys, just to motivate you guys a little, to rather to get off your, get your smelly ass off the lo Yu-Gi-Oh locals on those little chairs that you could probably break because you're so fat, but and into the bench press instead and sit there because you can't break the bench because you'll be losing weight when you're there, you feel me? That's where I want you guys to go. Why are you guys even watching this video if you probably procrastinated and didn't do any of your homework or didn't go to work or call in sick or something? Why are you playing games when none of that part's done, right? I want uh, this channel to also motivate you guys to, to do better in life and Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So it's going to be a little of both combined. There's two weeks. I want to clear my mind before I started this journey because I'm basically going to be vlogging my entire life now moving forward. Uh, so it does require a lot of effort for me, but... I just want two weeks to like relax a bit and then get right back to it. So with that being said, that's what the hiatus was for. I love all you guys. Thank you all for sticking with me through it. And this band, what a gr this band was incredible for me. It was incredible. Made me realize that I always knew there's more to life than Yu-Gi-Oh, but it made me realize how small and not important Yu-Gi-Oh is. So even though I will still be showing you guys incredible Yu-Gi-Oh videos, I want there to be a high emphasis on the success part of my channel. So with that being said, we're gonna start the video now. If you haven't already gone to the gym, all right, check this vlog out. If you haven't already done your homework, check this vlog out. Let it inspire you and go to the gym. Go get your work done. Don't procrastinate. Daily video starting now. Let's go. Alright, boom, we're at the gym now. You know, plain and simple, I'm just going to show you guys what I do when I go to the gym. I sped it up so it's pretty quick. To start off, plain and simple, we're going to do <coughs> flat dumbbell press, five sets of it. After that, we're going to be doing five sets of bench press. After that, your chest should be so sore from the heavy lifting because you're lifting some heavy weight, man. You're lifting some heavy weight. This is where you want to do heavy weight and for both dumbbell press and bench press. I'm doing 75s here for this set, the third set. It's tough. It's tough. But you do as many reps as you can of the heavy weight. Around 5 or 6 is good if it's heavy. If it's not heavy, hit 8, 10. Do as much as you can. If you're doing more than that, just use a heavier weight instead. And you just go off. Uh, five sets in, five sets dumbbell press. Five, five sets in, uh, five sets. We don't do the incline right now, by the way. Like I said, there's no specific perfect workout you got to do. But incline, I uh, use my common sense here. My incline press is so much smaller than my real press, than my real bench press that I'm testing something out. So I'm for like I'm the guinea pig. I'm testing not using incline at all, and we'll see how big my chest gets in the next few weeks. But if you haven't gone to the gym already, just go. All you gotta do like this is my favorite workout. It's incline. It's, sorry, it's flat dumbbell press and flat bench press. We just do it, have a great time doing it, and then after that we do push ups. And I didn't record it on video, but we did flies as well, and that's a workout. It's Bench press, dumbbell press, push-ups, and flies, and that's it. For the flies, we do three sets high, three sets low, three sets middle, and we just go up. We do as much as we can. Here, uh, our chest is so sore from the dumbbell press because we're doing weight that was we're coming back for so long. We're doing weight that's a lot heavier than what we could do. So our chest is exhausted at this point. We're doing small weight for bench press, but honestly, it's all we could do at the moment. Uh, we did... Uh, they will do a lot of weight for bench press or for dumbbell press than we could. 
So for bench press, we put the weight a little less. That's why uh, we're keeping in mind this is the first day uh, after a long time. So you want to track your progress. For day one, it's fine. Uh, we know we're hitting 40 by 10 for our day one. So next uh, week's bench press or in five days, whatever the bench press is going to be. Again, there's not a lot of small tricks. So people are going to ask, oh, trip, what days do you lift, etc., etc." It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Uh, you just lift as much as you can. There's no specific start, secret. All you have to do is really just lift, uh, train hard and eat right. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to be a living testament of that when I become shredded about doing this. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can eat garbage and still get shredded as long as you're not eating like cherry blossom and stuff. It doesn't matter what you eat. You don't got to go on a real diet. Like people think you got to change your life so much as to get shredded. No, you just do a few little alternates. You eat a little healthier and you go to the gym an hour a day. Like I don't understand why people can't sacrifice an hour a day to lift and an hour a day to eat better i don't understand that but uh, in, in return you get shredded so i'm gonna be a living testament of that give me a month you're gonna see uh yeah if you just started lifting it's gonna take you way more than a month but i do have some muscle memory in me so give me a month till i get shredded but if you're, you're starting from absolutely nothing uh one year of, of lifting and you're gonna see you're gonna see results in a month but in a year you, you believe me you're gonna be muscular enough to the point where you'll be happy but there there is no being happy with, with lifting you gotta uh the sky's the limit so uh, you got to continue doing this until you hit muscular amounts that you think you never achieve of. So this is our workout, plain and simple, just short four minutes. Uh, this plus flies. And then for eating, we just ate four meals in a day. We ate eggs to start. We ate a sandwich uh, for the second meal, pasta for the third meal. And then we ate eggs again for the last meal. That's all we ate for the day. This is the last set. Like I'm literally doing one rep sets almost because I'm so exhausted at this point. That's all you got to do. Just train hard. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. You know, Cobra Kai, it's hilarious. But strike hard, a.k.a. lift hard, and eat well, and you will achieve your results. That was the workout for the day, boys. What a workout, man. Holy, you guys seen it? That's pure exhaustion, man. All the way to the very last rep, very last set. Couldn't even finish the last few reps, but I still did it. That's what champions do, man. That's what champions do. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing videos every day. I know we took a month, like two-month hiatus, but it's for real, man. This for real. Mr. Olympia, day one training. See you guys tomorrow. We got back day. Yeah, we're a few years away from competing. But when, if you're going to compete, what are you going to do? Wait for a few years? No. If you know you want to compete, you start training right away to get there in a few years. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Another video coming tomorrow. Back day. See you guys then. Peace. Hey, it's haircut time, boys. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta stay fresh. You gotta get cuts every two weeks, at least, to look fresh. It's the making of the Guido here, as you see. Obviously, Guido's not tan, but guess what? I'm gonna be tan in a week. Fake tan. Here we come, baby. There's no sun anymore. What's good, Jimmy Butler? is making a joke. This guy looks like Jimmy Butler, but... Yeah, she does. But Butler should come to the wraps. But anyways, we're almost done the cut here. I was getting a little, you know, a little fade. We're going to grow the beard out. I told him I'm going to grow the top out too, so don't touch it. And growing the uh, beard and boom, just like that. Looking a little fresher. And you got to look fresh. If you're going to, if you're going to, you got to put the whole package together. You got to go to the gym. You got to make money. And then get a fade. And do it. You guys seen it there. Another fresh cut. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow International Fake King on YouTube. Link in the description. Little side note, I do Uber for short-term money. I just made $150 in six hours today. That's what I also did right after the gym. So $150 in six hours turns out about $25 an hour. Sometimes with the beauty of Uber, some, some days you want to do it for two hours, some days six hours, whatever. But essentially four hours will net you 100 bucks after gas. So here, uh, before guys actually, sorry, but it'll be about 90 bucks then. But there's no tax on it, so like tax and gas basically cancel out. So I made about 100 bucks, 150 in six hours, as you see here. It was a lot of, of uh, it's not even hard work. You just drive us to whatever you want. So if you're interested in Uber, use my Uber code down below. Uh, I do get, I don't know how Uber kind of does it, but they do give me $300 whenever someone uses my code. So anyone using my code, uh, I will send, and, and you do 50 drives with it, I'll send $100 your way as a little reward for Uber giving me my reward from, from signing someone up with Uber. So you guys are interested in Uber, use my code below and let me know on Facebook if you have any questions about Uber, I'll happily answer them. And with that being said, 
This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be sick. Uh, you guys have probably already seen it by the title. It's going to be insane. But enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Yo, what's good, guys? Let's go. Today's video for Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be sick. I've seen this crazy video, uh, Infernity Pendulum. So we're going to watch it in action. Uh, let's see. This guy, he was playing on Rated. I stumbled upon him by accident. And boom, we came just in time. Here we are. He's playing Infernity Pendulums. Insane. Like, honestly, I've seen him do some crazy stuff. But here we go. So, your lord got rid of the Armageddon Arma, Armageddon Knight. Oh, we'll see what else he got in his hand. It's an insane deck he has going on, man. Insane deck. Come on, bro. I'm playing now. So, he just started. We're coming in. Bro, if you guys are watching this, I hope you got to the gym, man. I hope you guys got to the gym. I hope you guys got your... Hope you guys... Oh, it, like, as soon as I know my boy Trip, you already know. You already know. We're posting this online on our channel. So, shout out, Flea. Shout out Sousa Phone Najo. Sousa Phone Joe. Well, that was easier than I thought. But with that being said, I hope you guys got in the gym before this, man. I hope you guys got some money in. Hope you guys got some studying in. And now it's the fun time. So let's see what he got. Who knows? Maybe he bricked, maybe he didn't. But I'm curious to see what he can do. Let's shout both of them out. Say hi to YouTube, fellas. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, fellas. But yeah, so he he, go, he pens Arma uh, and Harmonizing. So let's see what happens here. Uh, I actually don't know what the deck does fully. I just saw some Infinity cards. I was like, yo, this this got my attention, bro. This got my attention for sure. Uh, so who doesn't want to see cool Pendulum decks, right? Like, And again, the point of my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel now is to make whoever watches it better. All right, so let's see how we can make you guys better by watching this. What have you... He, Clearly a lord. He had a first a lord. What's in Zephyros? It's gonna be interesting, man. It's actually I have no idea what's coming. It's some fire probably. Wait, hey, we'll see. He his start his first play was a lord for Arma. What if you Arma if you Armageddon and send something and then Zephyros brought it back? You could have penned something and again send some another dark. I don't know, but I don't know the Infinity deck. But I'm very curious to see what's what, what's gonna go on here. Or maybe he had to save his normal summon. He probably had to save his normal summon for. The thing he's gonna get now, but I'm curious to see what happened. I don't know how Infinities work at all, but I'm curious. Like, is this a good hand? Is it a bad hand? Like, I actually have no idea, but we'll see what happens. So, hey boys, what do you think of the beard? Eh? I'm growing it, man. I'm growing the beard big time, and I'm growing my hair out. I'm getting fades off to him, but we got the Summoner Monk. I, right, I, right. that's a good play. That's solid. That's a little cool play right there. But let's see what happens. Like, I wonder how many negates this could put up. He bears spells on the deck, that's for sure. But I'm super curious to see uh, what ends up going on here. I don't know anything about the deck, like I said. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's see what happens, man. I hope it doesn't get interrupted. I hope it doesn't get hand-trapped. But let's see, man. Like This is going to be uh, crazy, honestly. But he puts this out. I hope this is a good hand. Uh, like I said, I don't know anything about this deck. Uh, it's just an infinity pendulum. So what a, that's crazy. Uh, like, uh, definitely the whole point is going to Time Star. Because Harmonizing is a one-card Time Star. So there's just any Dark Spellcaster in your deck. And... This is crazy. Uh, now you got... The, like, what's this card even do? Uh, one of this card Special Summon. Add an Infinity card from your deck to your hand. Yeah, so you, you summon among specials. So you can add, you know, add an Infinity Launcher. I actually know what that card does. And... There's a lot of plays you can do here. Like, this is another sick way to play. Like, bro... Infernity Pendulums, like, shout out Fully16, bro, you're a next level smart guy here, oh, Reprodocus, he's gonna go into Summon Sork, this is gonna, oh yeah, Zephyros, let's go, some crazy plays out here, man, I'm super curious to see what's gonna go on, what are the end boards gonna be, how many negates you guys think, if you go for, if you go for, if he hits four negates, this might just be the best version of Pendulums. Oh, he's playing uh, Nyarla. Is this legal? Is this... <laughs> Wait, why? After this card, your opponent can either do monster effects. <laughs> he does this in case of hand traps. In case he gets hand traps. That's hilarious. Yo, is this card legal right now? Is he allowed to do this? There's no other entity. After this card with XYZ summon your opponent, can I get monster effects for the rest of that turn? This is... 
<laughs> no hand traps, buddy. No hand traps for you. This card has at least three extra Z materials. Okay, he can't do that. Wait. This card has at least three extra Z material. One fusion, one sigma, one extra Z. Detach. Okay, he can't do that, but... Wow. Wow. No hand traps. So you can't even get hand traps. This sauce hand traps. Yo, he puts up four negates. And stops hand traps in the process. Saying we got the new best deck. What's strikers? What's pendu What's normal pendulums? This might just be the new best deck. Brings. Oh, it's FTK! Let's go! Yo, if he actually pulls off an FTK, bro, if he pulled pendulum FTK. Pendulum FTK and stops hand traps. Oh, please get it. If he gets an FTK right now, please get an FTK. That will be absolutely. Wow, wow, oh yeah, <laughs> this guy better not scoop, Sosa, don't scoop, I'm in awe, how do you spell awe, who cares, holy, okay, if he gets this going, I don't think he could do it, man, it's just, it's too good to be true, uh, like what, I'm pretty sure he's gonna need like a card that comes, like, uh, something that triggers off Firewall. I'm pretty sure he's going to need something that triggers off Firewall continuously. Like a Graph or like Double A. You know, well, you can't do Double A anymore. But, I don't know, man. Oh, Infer maybe there's just... What if there's enough monsters for Infernity to actually trigger this? That would be insane. Some of us are, Bro, you don't even need a machine. Like, you know what Cannon Soldier thing? You, summon, you just put, pick a machine with Summon Sword? He's actually going to have to K him. And he can't stop him with hand traps. Oh my god. This is insane. The new pendulum FTK that can't get stopped by hand traps. Oh my. Okay, please trigger. I really hope this actually, there's a way for this to work, man. I hope, I hope he can pull it off. I really do. It's all sick. It's all cool and stuff, but I hope he can pull it off. Let's see what happens. Like, Konami. This is what you get for keeping Firewall, alright? We're gonna abuse that. I'll, uh, we're gonna abuse Firewall all we want until you ban this card, alright? But let's see what let's see what happens. This is uh, two specials. I'm really curious to see if he'd actually pull this off. So, that's the first 800, I think. Uh, this is the only card in your hand, but it's just so minute. While you have no cards in your hand, if an infernity... Okay, so... If any monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can ban this card from your graveyard instead. Oh, that's cool. Let's count to 10. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. I love this guy. Flea, bro. Maybe he's a new superstar of the channel. Who invents this? It's not me. Can't believe it. I thought the only people that invent crazy stuff like this is me, Jesse. And the one time uh, Myrtle made it, which is a huge surprise. But he still made it nonetheless. But, hey, more ads, more pluses. I thought he was going to go for negates. But he's a bu I'm in shock right now, man. This is a pendulum FTK. That stops ha hand traps. Do not stop it. Good lord. We're counting to 10 out here with Shadow Priestess of Ohm. We're at 2. Alright, let's get to 10, boys. Let's get to 10. Is he going to hit 10? I don't even know. I still don't see it. Like, I still don't. It 10's a lot. I don't think he hit 8k. I hope he does. That would be insane. Another special? Oh my god. And uh, does this even brick? I know it seems bricky because there's a bunch of random cards, but they're all level 4s and stuff. And, pe like, all of these trigger, well, pendulums have no hand anyways, you know what I mean? At the very least, you can put up crazy in the gates, even if they hand trap you before you put up the Azathoth, and then even if they save it, they're not even seeing the Azathoth coming. Like, that's insane. I hope that, the is it legal? Yo, is Azathoth legal for the TCG right now? Well, it has to be, because he's playing it in rate. This is a rated match, so it has to be legal. But I really hope he can hit, hit 10. Is he going to hit 10? That's a big question. That's, uh... Wow, I, I'm i adding Flea. Yo, Flea, like this video. If you if this video gets 500 likes, we're going to put a part two. I'm going to message Flea and be like, yo, let's put up a part two. This is insane. I want to see a deck profile on everything. Like, I want the, I, I'm getting the deck profile for this. I don't care. I'm getting the deck profile for this deck. I don't care. That's insane. Like, an F, what an FTK if it, if it works. And he can't hand trap him right now. It's insane. Holy crap. He's actually going to do it. Is that 7 now or is that 9? I haven't been paying attention. But this will trigger. This will... I uh, think you should be this card. So like 2 for him. But he has 10 for sure. Oh my god. He's actually going to get 10. 
He's actually going to get 10. Brings up to, oh my God, he's going to get 10. He's actually going to get 10. He has it. He has it right there. He has more than 10. He just did it. He FD, oh my God. I'm in shock. Oh, you know what? Oh my God. I'm in shock. They got to know. I, I, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I, I can't even believe it. This is, that's that was right there. Boom. That was, uh, that was FDK, boys. That's, uh, something magical. That was beautiful. How did he do it? But hey, that's what you got in Trip Gaming. Crazy FDKs. New Pendulum FDK. Pendulum FDKs didn't die with one Electrum. We got a new one with no Electrums, all right? Pendulums for life, baby. See you guys in the next video. Peace. That was the video, guys. Vlog, Yu-Gi-Oh, everything all in one. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys like it in the description below. And even if you don't like it, I'm still going to do it. Because a lot of you guys are too fat. I want to give some motivation at least. Even if I inspire one person and not a thousand, doesn't matter. I at least inspire one person. At least change their lives a bit. Make sure to subscribe. More is coming every day, all right? This is the very first vlog of many. First, very first vlog of many. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. And let me know in the comment what you guys think. See you guys in the next video. Peace.